Happy March 5th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy, Vinny, Disco, and Tank explored the hills, river, and forest surrounding Crown Spire, uh, looking for herbs that Master Laurel can use to try to heal the Tree of Seasons, which has been poisoned by giant evil insects. Uh, from the kingdom of King Rathex, a giant magic scented millipede. Unknown, I didn't count his legs. Uh, after our collection efforts and uh, buying some at the market, we have six mud claws, five hazel roots, and five oak warts. We're hoping that's enough. Um, I do believe it's time to return to the castle. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Oh dear, this looks like combat. Uh, March 5th. You re-enter the city after collecting all the materials you've been able to find. Some thugs approach you on the street. Creepin' crud, wasn't you the one that interfered in the leaf riding tournament yesterday? You cost us lots of money on that. Now you're going to pay us back. These fools are convinced you wronged them somehow. Um... So that wasn't us, but I don't think it matters. I, the only person I can think of that might have been was Merrick. So, good job, Merrick. Um, uh, we're still suffering <laughs> from your deeds. Uh, okay. Oh, well. Um, there is <laughs> there's a pickpocket icon on this page. So, let's see what... Um, let's see what Disco comes away with. Two Amber. Thank you very much. So, we're up to 12. Um, that probably doesn't help relations here <laughs> with these fine gentlemen. Um, but let's see. While fighting, some of your plant ingredients get ruined. For each point of damage you take during combat, you must remove one of the plant ingredients you collected. Oh, no. You may decide which plants to remove. Oak wart, hazel root, or mud cap. One damage. So... Uh, the most damage we would take, three, six, seven, eight, we could take eight damage, and we have, um, 16, 16 ingredients, so they could take, this could ruin half our ingredients. Okay, well, I, st we have no idea how many ingredients we're gonna need, but if, uh, the last time we had to do anything like this, that was with thatch, um, we needed a ton, we needed as much as we could get. But, okay, well, here we go. Enemy one, the squirrel, whips his tail around to smack you. We haven't done combat in a while. So let's see. I don't think we have, I don't have any, anything that will help us by way of equipment or loot. Um, and the only real, we have these surges. I can use a surge to, for a luminous shield to add d4 to a single defense roll. Uh, we have our boon die, that'll help. And solar flare, use one surge, add d4 to a single damage roll. And we have um, Vinny, who we can activate. Where are you, Vinny? For plus one damage, if we manage to get a club, <laughs> that's greater than equal to seven. Uh, okay, well, here we go. All right. So, attack. Uh, we get plus four to attack. Eight, that's 12. That's not quite enough. He's, uh, he's 13. I don't have anything that can add to attack, right? I just looked at this and I've already forgotten. Plus one damage. So, nope, we don't hit him. Um, so if your attack roll, uh, if you hit, otherwise you miss. We missed. Now we need to defend against this fella and his attack is 14. So our defense is plus five, six. Oh, you know what we could have done? We have this boon die, and we only need one more to hit him. I'm going to take back this roll. Shh, don't tell anybody. We're going to spend our boon die. That adds a d4. It doesn't really matter. Whatever we get there, we hit him. So I'm going to erase this. Oh, dear. What did I do? This and this. There we go. Okay. We hit the squirrel. 
Um, and now we are hoping to do seven or more damage. And our damage is a D12. Um, let's go ahead and try to... Well, I've decided that I can use abilities um, after the fact. I think the rules say that. Basically, the way I'm interpreting the rules is I have to use potions and whatnot before I do a thing. But ability, abilities, including, I think, the party ability, uh, I can use as basically a reaction. I can see the roll, what the roll is, and then decide what to do with it. So, we're going to roll a d12. Nine. Excellent. We take out the squirrel. Good job. Okay. Enemy two. The lizard begins pounding on your face with his fist. <laughs> That's unpleasant. Um, all right. Well, we're going to attack. Uh, attack is plus four. We need an 11. We got it. Seven plus four is 11. Now we want to do eight or more damage. So, oh dear. That, that fell out. Does it count? Yeah, I got to count it. That's a three. And I don't think um, we could add a d4 to a damage roll the best we get there is seven and if we manage to activate um vinnie's ability we could do eight damage do we do it i think ah uh, yes i'm gonna do it darn it should i save it for the defense no let's do it so we activate um solar flare we use one of our surges. We need this to be a four. And we get it. We got a four. <laughs> okay, now all we need to do <laughs> is for Vinny to come through with his uh, with his plus one damage. So we're going to draw a card here. I've shuffled these since last we played. This needs to be a seven of clubs. It needs to be a club, and it needs to be a seven or better. That's almost impossible. Nope. And in fact, um, it's a face card. So not only do we not activate Vinny's ability, but he takes a point of damage. Um, he's down from two health to one. So I'm just going to put a little check mark there. Well, oh well. Um, am I doing this right? Was that to hit? No, that was damage. That was trying to hit him. That was trying to do damage. Um, if we didn't exceed, so he now attacks us. How does the partial damage work? If your defense roll, yeah, yeah, he just gets to attack. That was probably a bad move to spend that stuff on this one, but boy, it would have been cool if it worked. Okay, so now we need to defend. So he's got an attack of 13. Our defense is plus 5. Where'd my 20 go? Here we go. 11 plus 5 is 16. We easily defend, um, but we take 1 damage. So I'm going to mark that here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and we'll take, we'll take away 1 mud cap. We're down to 5 of each ingredient. All right. <clears throat> Enemy 3. The frog turns and kicks you with his powerful hind legs. Of course he does. Wow. He's got a defense of 14. Okay. Attack plus four. Oh, we hit him. 12 plus four is 16. We hit him. We need to do six damage. Um, three. Okay, I'm going to use my other surge. I'm going to use a solar flare again. So we need a three or better. One. Not enough. Okay, so. And we can't try Vinny again. Um, you can only try to use a pet, uh, a party member's ability. Uh, once per page. So um, we need to defend against an attack of 12. So we've got d20 plus 5. 7 is 12. Oh boy. Um, if your defense roll equals or exceeds. All right, we defended. Reduce your health by the enemy's partial damage otherwise. So we lose another ingredient. And two health total. So, we are down to ten health. And we lose another ingredient. I don't, I have no idea which one to pick. There's three of them. 
So we'll roll. Um, one to two, three to four, five to six. One to two, so we lose another mud gap. We're down to four mud gaps. And time will tell if that is terrible or not. Okay. Uh, the thugs run away as several patrol guards run up to stop the commotion. A little earlier would have been nice, fellas. But it is what it is. If you defeated one enemy, that's true, we collect one amber. Okay, excellent. We're up to 13 amber. And that, my friends, is March 5th. So, we shall say goodbye for today and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.